five reasons why people regret moving to Nashville. Let's jump on in. Hello, you guys, welcome back to Renovation Central. Um, as you can see, I'm still here, but in today's video, I wanted to talk about something, I know that seems a little bit counterintuitive, but it's about the top five reasons in my experience, why people regret moving to the greater Nashville, middle Tennessee area. Um, obviously I work with a lot of people who are moving to the area or want to move to the area. And I think a key part of that is understanding what the cons of living in a certain area are. So you can figure out, is this really something that I want to deal with? Or is this something that is going to make it not a great fit for me? So with that said, let's just jump on in. Okay, so these are kind of gonna be a mix between things that are more specific to Nashville itself and then just kind of like the greater area, like if you live more out in the country like I do. Um, but with that being said, I would say one of the top five reasons that people don't like living in Nashville is because of the traffic. Um, around Nashville, it's really not that big of a deal, especially the more rural you get, obviously, but Nashville itself has some pretty bad traffic, um, and that's honestly just kind of poor planning on the city's part, and I feel like even the city has kind of admitted that. Um, they just didn't really expect the Nashville area to grow as quickly and as like crazy as it has the last couple of years. Um, but you can definitely see that in the traffic, especially during rush hour in the morning and in the evenings. So if you're going to be commuting to work, that is definitely something that you need to have a plan in place for, whether it's living as close as you can to your job or figuring out like an alternate route or timing or something. Um, also though, I feel like a lot of people don't really use surface streets to get to work, um, because I've been out during rush hour and when I don't want to drive on the freeway, We'll just take surface streets. There's a lot of major surface streets that can get you to a lot of places. So that is definitely something to consider. Just a little quick tip for you. But yeah, traffic can get kind of awful around here. So just be prepared. Number two that you will probably hear everyone talk about is the weather. Um, I feel like the weather here is kind of just something that people either love or hate. And the main part is really just the summer because we have a pretty mild winter. We have beautiful spring and fall seasons. And honestly, I like the summers. Um, they can get a little warm uh, in like the 80s, 90s. Uh, 90s is about like the, the peak in July and August. Um, that being said, of course, we do have humidity. Um, we are in the South, of course. So that just kind of comes with the territory. I personally really like it and I promise I'm not just trying to sell you on the weather here because whatever a lot of people don't like it but coming from a drier climate I really enjoy my skin not feeling dry and cracked all the time and my hair feeling great um, and yeah so I don't really mind the humidity if that's something that you're concerned about definitely come visit in July or August when we're at the peak and see if you can handle it or not but the good news is all of our seasons only last like three to four months, so it's a nice trade-off for a beautiful rest of the year, even if you don't like it, in my opinion. Number three, kind of with the weather, I feel like another huge complaint that I hear is the bugs. Again, we are in the south, so that kind of just like comes with the territory. Um, in Nashville itself, it's not as bad, of course, when you're in a city. Um, if you live out in the country, it will be worse. Um, I mean, we deal with bugs out here where we live in more of a rural area. Um, Nashville and Tennessee is really wooded. So unless you're in a more like cleared out area, there's going to be quite a bit of bugs. The good news is, um, pest control does an amazing job out here. They are definitely pros. We have, um, like a non-toxic company that we use that come out quarterly and just kind of spray and deal with all of that season's bugs and they do an awesome job. So I mean, it's not like we have no bugs, but it's really not crazy. So just something to consider. Again, if you're worried about it, I would just recommend coming out probably in the summer um, and just kind of knock out the weather humidity bug thing all at once and see if you can handle it. Number four is rising housing prices in certain areas. Um, and if you are curious what areas, I can kind of help you navigate that but I feel like that's kind of everywhere all over the country right now is just that the housing market is of course going up, housing prices are going up. 
Um, and of course, a lot of people are moving to the greater Nashville area, so that is driving things a little bit, especially in certain areas. Um, I still feel like Nashville, especially Tennessee and Middle Tennessee in general, um, is a lot more affordable than other places still. Last time I checked, um, the overall cost of living was 4% lower than the national average just in Nashville. So it is still a good affordable place to live, especially compared to other major cities on the coast and things like that. But like everywhere, housing is getting more expensive and that's why it's important to have a plan in place and a good team to help you figure it out. Number five, I always like to phrase this as faith, family, freedom, people, really value that here. Um, obviously, I feel like if you know anything about the South, that's kind of a core value to us here. Um, and people live by that, especially I feel like in the more country areas outside of the city itself, you will definitely hear people like target shooting on their land pretty much every day, especially on the weekends. People hunt on their land. Um, people love their church. And I mean, I love it, but that's definitely one of the huge draws to us here. Um, but if that is gonna be something that bothers you, just something to keep in mind. So yeah, there are my top five reasons why people regret moving to Nashville, Middle Tennessee in general. Um, I hope that was helpful and hopefully gave you some insight into potential cons and kind of just life here. But if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them below, send me an email, connect with me on social media, whatever you want to do. I'm always happy to help you guys out. So until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.